So, hello everyone. Um, I am using my brand new tablet. And uh, I started, I did start a YouTube channel. Oh gosh, it's been a while since I've been on it. Sorry, I'm adjusting here. Um, so on that channel, I did a lot of gaming things and I talked about life issues. But I just started wearing makeup again. And I ordered an Ipsy uh, glam bag plus yes and uh, so I wanted to show you what I got today I know there's a lot of videos out there that show ipsy but since I haven't worn makeup in like forever uh, I just started wearing it again I thought I would show how um, the evolution of no makeup to makeup uh, is and also there's not a lot of I mean there's a few older women out there who are putting on makeup online, uh, streaming their their makeup. Um, so I want to show you my old makeup that I have um, that I just started reusing. Actually, I bought a couple items first at, um, geez, uh, was it CVS? It might have been CVS or Walgreens, but I got this one here, and uh, I kind of like it. It's okay. It it doesn't stick to my skin as well as I would like. I really need a primer, but. And I bought a, a brush, as you can see. It, it's, it's really soft. And the brand is Joa. Um, it sounds like a Korean brand, it could be. And this one is a Wet n Wild, I forgot to tell you, Wet n Wild um, Illuminating Palette. And it's got like, glitter in it. It's very fine and has glitter. And then I bought um, some e.l.f. HD powder. And uh, I, I do I do really like this. It comes out really nice. And then what I already had, which I don't really enjoy, um, I got it. Okay, a little disclosure uh, on this video. Um, I did talk about some of these issues. I pulled down all my videos because no one watched them. But I will put them back up. Um, but, oh, I really hate that. I say, um, a lot. I really hate it. Um, uh, so I, I guess my thoughts really, I have to wait till my thought completes itself. Crazy. So, uh, I was homeless for a while and one of the places I stayed called Path, uh, I got my hair cut there. One of the ladies who volunteered to cut hair and she gave me this palette. It's okay. It's a little dark. Um, as you can see, and it, like that, and it comes with a mirror, and as you can see, it's a little bit old, but it's okay. I used, I used this one for the under eye, this one here for under eye to cover up because I get this pigmentation problem, and then this one for an eyeliner, or this one for an eyeliner, and I don't use the gray very often. I mean, I'm older, my skin's kind of a funny color now. I used to be, and somewhere when I do another video, I will show you how brown I used to be as a kid, and now I'm not. <laughs> uh, anyway, and then they gave me, I might have bought this at some point, or someone gave it to me, but if I can get it open. I don't like packages because I can never get them open, so I have to tool my way in. So here's what I do. So I usually take tweezers and I stick a tweezer underneath the lid and then I pop it up like that. That's my little trick because otherwise you break nails and lids and stuff. So this one, and I use this one for under my eye and this one is an eyeliner. And then I also use them on my cheeks. Uh, this one is a highlighter. This one is the, the color on my cheeks and this one in this part of my cheek um and it's okay i mean you know and these i rarely wear any of these i don't like creamy things on my skin as much but i have these and they're really pretty so you can use them as a lip cover color or an eye color and uh i did a halloween mask all the way over with some of the reds but all the way over my eyes i look like a red raccoon and then i had these these again are creamy and I'm not as much in the creamy so I haven't really used these as you can see uh, and then this one I use 
to put on my skin first and it's sort of I don't know why I use it. Someone gave it to me. And uh, it smells a little funny to me. I like fruity, sweet scents. By the way, the reason why I keep looking over here is I have a mirror. And I confuse the mirror. This is how silly I am for the camera. So I have this. Uh, and I also bought a pair of tweezers because my old tweezers. I'll show you my old tweezers. Uh, my old tweezers. Where'd they go? Oh, I just had them. So these are my old tweezers. And as you can see, they're pretty cheap. And they don't tweeze. I mean, you grab a hair and nothing. I really like these. These are the new ones I got. Uh, actually, when I did the shopping for the new stuff, um, the three items I just recently bought, or the two items, well, there are three with the tweezers. This one and the e.l.f. powder, this one and this one. I got them in Arizona when I visited a family member. So um, I like these tweezers. You see the ends? And they're real thick and they're strong and they're not going to bend out of shape then my sister gave me something because i have eczema i uh, get right here along here along here and up in here and sometimes on my eyelashes and occasionally along here so she made me a roll-on and the only ingredient i can remember from the essential oils she put in it was bergamot i think i said that right um so, and what I do to apply this, and I let, usually let it soak in. I'm about to put on makeup, and I'm going to do this, so it may crease my makeup. I don't know. Uh, I usually put a roll-on bit of here, a little bit here, some here. And then I have a line that I'm working on, and it was really deep. So I'm going to do that across the line because it gets really dry. And then I'll put a little bit here. Um, and then I have a couple of bumps I put it on. And what it does is it really helps the red. Anywhere I get kind of red at, I don't put a whole lot because of the oil in it. Uh, my skin is, it looks pretty shiny today, but I get flaky, really flaky skin. So since I've been using this roll-on she gave me, and I'll get the ingredients and uh, hopefully remember to put it in a video. I'm not very good at follow-up. Like I say, I'll put stuff in the in the bottom and then I don't do it because I don't, I didn't have a good editing software, but I've got a couple of new devices. So, and then my old lipstick and I have a whole bunch of like lip stuff um, that I use, but I will probably use this today uh, to complete my look. So now we're going to go to the Ipsy bag. And I know many of you have been watching a lot of women uh, unbox their Ipsy bags. So I basically already got into it. Um, this is the bag. I actually wish they had written Ipsy across it. That would have been really cool. But I do like it. Um, a lot of women were saying they didn't like it because it was uh, it was a bag and stuff. I don't know. I, I, I personally like it because once I take everything out of the boxes, um, it will all go back in here. Uh, this here I got. Uh, it's really pretty. I looked on the website, so I kind of already knew what I was going to get, but I just wanted to kind of um, look before I opened it on camera because I'm curious, George. Um, I really love this packaging. It's very effeminate, or feminine, I should say, and I love the colors. Uh, and it is Sucura and Plus Sage. I hope I'm saying these right. Uh, you always get, all of us do it. When we get on camera, we can't pronounce anything. Uh, Sakura and Sage. This is the actual container. Um, let me read what it says on the back. Uh, it says it's vegan, no talic, no mineral oil, no parabens, no phthalates. I hope I said that right too. No gluten. Uh, hold on just a second. What's that? Let me see. Hold on just. I'm going to pause you guys here. That was not a phone call. I thought I had a phone call. So. Uh, anyway, Sakura and Sage, where was I? Uh, no phthalates or phthalates or something. No gluten. By the way, I have a thing with people putting no gluten on stuff. Gluten is a protein or such that you get from eating like wheat or grass products. So you will sometimes have gluten in cheese and stuff. Uh, pastas definitely will have gluten, things like that. But if they're putting wheat or something in your makeup. 
I don't know if they do that. So it's silly to me to write, but I'm not a chemist. I have, I have weird little issues um, about things like that. Uh, with evening prim, primrose and sage oils, uh, oregano, lavender, cherry blossom, and rosemary extracts, extracts with vitamin E and hypoallergenic. Now, there is one thing I like to say. There's a lot of skin products that have, um, see, I did it again. Let's count them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. They have a lot of, let me see what you want to call it. Uh, they have a lot of, um, See, I can't think of anything unless I say the word um. Uh, <clears throat> I lost my thought. Okay, so there's a, oh, so they have a lot of, um. what do you call it, when you don't, when you go out in the sun and you put that stuff on sunscreen stuff. I'm allergic to that. And a lot of people say you're not allergic. You can't be allergic. Put it on. They put it on me. I cook like I'm in an oven. I break out and I blister. So I don't wear a lot of sunscreen products because of it. Um, but this should be okay. So that's the box, and the box is gorgeous. And this is the inside. I love the colors. They're, they're really gorgeous. And I used this earlier when I washed my face. It does has a, have an SPF of 30. So I, if I break out in the middle of this video, I know I'm allergic to it. Now it came with no that's the other thing. So this is the this is it. Uh and it says, let me get my magnifying glass. I have glasses on and I still can't see anything. I don't know what to do with the magnifying glass. So let's put these on. <clears throat> I can't see anything and uh that's always a problem. So we're going to use these real fast. I know it's silly, but these are from my art projects that I do. Oh, I don't have a lens in them. Let's just get a lens. So we'll just hold the lens up. I have a whole box of lenses. I, I do a lot of art. I'm on my art desk right now. So, uh, so this one says active ingredients, uh, averbenzoin, benzoin, uh, 3.0%. Let's use a different one of these. Put my glasses back on. It, it isn't good to be semi-blind. Okay, these always work the best. Okay, so that's a little better. Um, and it has SPF moisturizer with rich with vitamin C and potent antioxidant ginkgo biloba. That's leaf extract. Helps shield skin from environmental aggressor, aggressors. Active ingredients. Uh, uh, that one that I said with the zone at the end of the, I'm going to spell it for you. Uh, so those of you who know how to say it, some of you are going to really go after me probably. A-V-O-B-E-N-Z-O-N-E. -E. And then it has, let's use a different one. I am so blind. I really need to go to the eye doctor. The problem is it's expensive. <laughs> uh, oh, this one's good. So... This one has homeos, homeosalate, 6.5%, octan, octanozite, 7.5%, octansiate, 5.0%, and oxabenzoin, 2.0%, 2%, and it says to, to use, apply liberally to face, neck, and chest. Warning for external use only. And don't swallow it. I love how they put that on everything. So I did use this. And uh, it, my skin is very, very, very soft. So thank you. Uh, it's from Mirad. Uh, and it came with a little cloth, but I used it. You don't want to see that. Uh, <clears throat> it says 3 Hydrate Protect. So that's the box again. Let me move this out of the way. I have literally have art supplies all over the place here. <laughs> you can't see it. It's probably a good thing. You guys would be hating on me right now. And then I use this to wash my face with. And this is uh, called Fancy Face 
go-to fancy face nourishing oil cleanser. And I'd never heard of an oil cleanser. And there's a little thing on here that says, we included a lovely, oh, this is the one with the, not this, not this one. This one had the little cloth. <sighs> so I washed my face. With, with The directions were, you put the oil on your hands, you rub it, rub it in a circular motion, which I did, circular motion. And uh, then you wipe it off with your warm muslin cloth. And uh, it, 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 it actually cleaned. I could feel it cleaning. And this is the bottle. This is the bottle it was in. So, and there's very small writing. I can't read the writing on there. The biggest thing I can read is Fancy Face. So, <clears throat> it works. Uh, read the directions. When you get stuff, read the directions. Because this isn't one where it lathers and you put, you put water on it and do this. No. You put it on your skin, like I think it was like four or five drops, and you rub it in, and uh, and it works really well. And then I got, okay, I got this one which I didn't open yet. So this one is, and I don't even know how to say this, Lama Lamasqua, Lamas Lamasque, something Lamasca. Omasqua. I, 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 I'm guessing that's a French or Italian word. Uh, and let's see where it says it was made. The, this writing, I can kind of read it a little bit. It says vegan formula. Uh, and the directions are, the clear gel is infused with vitamin B3 and sodium hydro... High la rate. I, I actually can't see that word, so um, <clears throat> we're going to go with it. That holds more than a thousand times its weight in water. Place perfect for moisturizing your skin. <clears throat> Aclamaya, uh Dia something extract. Instantly blurs appearance of fine lines and makes your skin look smoother. So I'm over 50. I'm now 52. I just, uh, I've been 52 a month in like three weeks. So I don't know if you can tell. If you told me when I was younger, you'd be able to tell. Um, so this might be good for me. I'm starting to get the lines and all of that. And the directions are, let's read the directions before we put it on. It says 79% of people agree it hydrates. 85% of people agree it protects against dryness. 81% of people agree it minimizes the look of pores. And I have pores. Man, I have pores for days. If you could get up here, I know everyone, especially women, complain we have pores. But you can see them. Everyone has pores. We just don't want them to be seen because if you can see a pore, dirt and uh, skin and all of that can fall in there and then you get pimples. So 92% of people agree it creates a perfect canvas for foundation application. Consumer test on 50 people. So it says the best clear, let's see, wait, the lightweight, uh, where the, it says the clear gels and foods fuse of vitamin, oh, I read that. Okay, I don't see directions. So I'm guessing you just rub it on just a little bit. It says, made in Thailand. Hydra Vale. So, oh, and there was one more thing before we get started. One more thing, and I was really glad to get this. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, it's right here. I have been waiting for an eyeliner because... I'm so glad this came. It took forever, by the way. I'm not complaining. I did order later than most people, but it took forever. It was supposed to be here yet uh, uh, a week ago, and then it was delayed. So it came, it was supposed to come yesterday, and then it got delayed again. COVID, COVID can just fly. Wait, am I supposed to say COVID on? Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? Uh, so... <clears throat> This is uh, static. The, the, 
this isn't static. I had static stuck to me. Uh, and this is it. This is the fine liner. This is it right here. I know everyone does this, and I realize it so we can focus on. See that tip? That's going to be excellent. I'm very artistic, so we're going to see. Um, and this is what I was talking about, these little plastic bits. They stick to me because I have a lot of static in my skin. They stick to everyone, but especially me. Uh, I've been known to kill watches because I have so much static in my skin that it kills the battery. Okay, I'm going to be right back because I'm going to get a drink. I'm very thirsty. Hang on there, folks. So my boyfriend, one of my favorite things that he does is he buys me energy drinks. And I call them Energens because... Uh, I take medicine that makes me sleepy because I have diabetes and stuff. And a lot of you are going to say, lose weight. Not all diabetics got to be diabetics because they were chubby or overweight. So, And every time I do a video, I talk about food and drink, what I'm having for the day. So this is my beverage for right now. It's a Venom, uh, Venom uh, Watermelon Lime. And I really like the eyes on the Venom. My favorite is actually a bang or a rain. Bang or a rain. <laughs> I um, combine those two words. Since uh, I am diabetic, I don't put a lot of processed sugar in me because it will not be good. Okay. So now we've got our unpackaging done. And the first thing I'm going to do is work on my eyes because if I screw up or mess up, then at least I have my powder to, oh yeah, we were going to put this on first. So it has, so I watched somebody else unbox this. It was really interesting because it has this weird lid. It's like you're going into a secret vault. You got blurry all of a sudden. I took my glasses off. So it's like going into some kind of sacred vault. And I want to sing, da 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 Wait, is that Perry Mason? Whatever. I want to sing some kind of song. So I guess maybe you lift this lid. Oh, it's got a, oh, a sucky noise that comes with it. And this is what it looks like inside, sort of. I don't want to, like, spill everything out. And I watched somebody else unbox this. Oh my gosh, it does feel like jello. Someone else said it felt like jello. So I'm gonna put this, I guess you put it all over your skin. And if I'm doing this wrong and you guys see this, you you can tell me, just be kind, because you have to understand I haven't worn makeup in a long time. I mean seriously wore it. I was a big makeup person in high school. I wore I wore a lot of crazy colors like blues and purples and stuff. When you have brown eyes, you can get away with wearing some pretty crazy colors. <clears throat> because if you have like blue eyes or something and you wear some, a color that's not good for your eyes, then of course it's going to show. Okay, it smells a little different. Um, I'm looking in my mirror here. Oh, yeah, so I want to introduce you to Mare. This is my Mare. Um, and it has two sides. I love this Mare. I got it on Amazon. I'm an Amazon junkie. So if they had a, <clears throat> a support group for Amazon junkies, I would be in it. And I'd be saying, hello, my name is Melinda. I'm an Amazon junkie. Because <laughs> you can buy everything from food, uh, to, I don't have to use very much of this. I'm I'm not even getting like the full product on my hand. I'm just dipping it in there and getting the moisture. So now I put this on. Hopefully I did that right. We're gonna put the secret vault back down. Put the lid on it. Now that I have that done, we're gonna do the eyes. So a lot of people I've been watching tutorials and my favorite one, so far that I really love her is Bailey Sarian and she is very young. There is another woman, I can't remember her name. I like to watch her too. She's older like myself. Man, she's really pretty. I can't remember her name. There goes my phone again. It sings to me all day long like a bird. Ugh, I gotta change my settings. So we're gonna do this 
And I'm going to, if you see here, this is the problem I have. I have like a blown out vessel in my eye because of high blood pressure and diabetes. Um, like I said, I had some issues in the past. And by the way, when I see things like I've been homeless, it isn't because I did, uh, subs I have a substance abuse problem or any of that. It's just I had, I had some life issues. And everyone can have life issues, so be kind. <laughs> Anybody who says on my feed uh, or makes a comment, I mean, and they say their life story because you're allowed to do that and someone dogs on you, I will delete those comments because uh, everyone has issues. No one is better than anyone else. That's just my thing. Okay, enough of the spiel. So now we're going to, let's watch this. So this is what it looks like. Oh, probably not a good, let's do it on this side. So it's very fine. And uh, we're going to do it on the magnified so I can see. I really like magnification things. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do it over here in this mirror. Let's turn you so you can see a little better. Again, I, I really am just practicing. So, so I saw a girl, I don't remember her name, on the Ipsy channel. And she just said, I didn't make a line and her line was so much better than mine. So, I might actually just hold a piece of paper up there and draw a line. I don't know because this is really hard. Um, I'm not used to a liquid liner. So hang on. I'm going to go get a napkin, paper towel, whatever, and wipe it off. And we're going to try again. I might have to uh, practice a little better. Okay. Hold on here. I'll be right back. All right. I am back. So as you can see, I'm out of practice doing any kind of makeup. So we're gonna wipe, hopefully not smear it everywhere. Okay, it looks like I wiped some of the boo-boo off and I just made myself black eyed. By the way, I can't find any napkins. <laughs> I'm a house without paper towels or napkins. And we're gonna try this again. And remember, you have to have a steady hand. And I think what the girl did, we're gonna try it this way. She did like almost like little, oops, dots along here and the reason why i'm doing this first like i said is because i want to uh i think i know what's happening it's because i have that bump there and it really distorts everything so we're gonna go like that and then please don't laugh <laughs> uh i'm going to clean it up with this A little bit of this goes a long way. So you might just be watching me make a mess out of myself. But I definitely will clean it up. <sighs> okay, so I'm going to put this on pause, figure this out, and then I'll come back. Hopefully with this done. Okay, hang on. Okay, so I'm resuming. I did a little better. So I have this little angled brush that I have. And I'm going to try to kind of... Smooth it out, and then I'll put some eye makeup over it. And I didn't go all the way over my eye. So let's try this. I know you guys are probably laughing. She needs some practice. Yes, I do need some practice, but that's okay. We're human beings. We're allowed to mess up. So what I want to do, because I have all this dark underneath my eyes, I'm going to take my one powder here. And I'm going to, because I don't like that I look like I have black eyes. And I'm going to have to use my little trick here, find some tweezers. So like I said, when you can't get a thing open, don't break your nails. Just do this. Oh, I'll show you. Do this. It's like having a key. See that? Voila. Open. Um, and I'm just going to use my fingers and kind of go over down here. This is very shiny, so sometimes it comes out looking a little gray, but uh, I'll cover that up. So we're going to do this, and as you can see, I have like some flaws. Of course, we all have flaws. 
Don't worry about the flaws. We're human beings. This to me is not to cover up my flaws. It's more or less, and not to make me look pretty or anything, it's just fun. It's artistic. And when I realized that I could be artistic on my own skin the other day, I was like, why am I not doing this? Right? I mean, okay, so we got that. Now, uh, I'm going to use this, this color here. Uh, and I'm gonna go, it's very shiny, so just be aware if you don't like shiny, don't use this product, okay? So I've got that, and now we're gonna do the other eye. This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> okay, so I used to be ambidextrous, and now I am not. So we're gonna see how this goes. And I've already messed up. Actually, that went better on this eye than the other eye. Sort of. So, one thing that I did on this eye, that I didn't do on this eye, is I took this all the way down. And this eye, I went over here. So, that's what we're going to do to make them even. Hopefully, you can see. Remember, I'm just experimenting. So, it isn't going to be perfect, and I'm not a makeup guru. So, don't think that I am. Uh... I'm just like you or anyone else. So we're going to put some of this underneath. This one I didn't have to do a second attempt. And the reason why I put it underneath my eye, I don't have a concealer yet. And I have a pigmentation problem underneath my eye. The other day my little nephew said to me, well, he's not little, he's 12. He said to me, uh, Auntie, you have, do you have a black eye? And I had to say to them, no, I don't have a black eye. It's just underneath my eyes is a color. Uh, it just looks that way. So there we go. Now we have that. And now we're going to get the new palette. I'm so excited. Um, and what I'm going to do too is fill in my lashes. I mean my eyebrows. Because if you can... S oh, hang on. Let me put you on hold. So um, I'm going to be right back. I have to go get the boyfriend and let him in the building. Um, he comes over on his days off. And so... If you hear voices in the background uh, in a little bit, it's him. Uh, one voice and my voice. Not voices. Okay, here I go. So I am back and uh, I got the boyfriend in. He is now playing on the PlayStation. So if you hear random voice in the background, like I said, it's probably him. It's okay. It'll be amusing whatever he says. We'll just enjoy it. All right, so I'm going to finish putting on my, because uh, I don't have a good concealer, I'm going to use this uh, illuminating skin Yeah, it's skincare. Civilization. Yeah, he's playing Civilization Six, which, by the way, I'm a gamer, so I love games. So my original YouTube channel was all games and life lessons. You know, how to fill out paperwork and stuff for things that you need. Because right now we're in a crisis. So if you ever need any kind of advice when it comes to filling out a form for health care, for food stamps, for any of that, email me. Uh, I'll put my email there so you can do that. And I will answer your questions. I'm a semi-expert. Okay. Now... So we did that, so we're gonna use our palette here. And let me see, what color shall we do, people? I have my little brush here. I have two little brushes, this one and this one. And this one I've sort of molded it, probably needs to be washed. But I sort of molded it into where I want it to be. So we're gonna take this, it looks like chicory color. And I'm going to even out my color here. It's better not to close your eyes all the way because that creates more fallout when you close your eyes and then the makeup just falls out all over the place. And it's it makes a huge mess. So I'm going to highlight this, or not highlight, but just put a little chicory on there. Uh, I know it looks like I'm closing my eyes. I'm really not. The one thing I don't like about some of this powder makeup it gets in your eyelashes and then it changes the color of your eyelashes and you know we gotta have most of us don't have 
a lot of eyelashes. And so we we got to make do with what we have. All right, so I'm going to take this and sort of try to even out my brows. Uh, I tweeze them, and I'm not the best at tweezing brows, so you're going to get kind of a mess here when you tweeze your own brows and you really don't know what you're doing. Okay, the stickery looks a little red. So now my, eyes, my eyebrows are a little red, but that's okay. My hair is <clears throat> dual-toned. Because I had it dyed a whole bunch of different colors and all the color came out except for the the blondish color they added so now it's kind of a reddish blonde orangish reddish blonde all right so we did that and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into my crease and I'm going to apply this in my crease and the reason why I'm doing this is to sort of uh, define my eyes the way that they're shaped. I have uh, double stigmatisms, which means that my eye shape is more almond than it is round. And so your eyeball gets squished. And that's why some of us need glasses, by the way, if your doctor tells you you have stigmatism. It's because your eyeball or your eye is not shaped conveniently for your eyeball. So it will squish your eyeball all up. All right, now, Let's do this side. And I just probably use a back and forth method, uh, motion, but you could stipple it on. A lot of people stipple their makeup on because it makes it go into the skin better. So we'll do the stippling on this side and see if that works. And as you can see the bump, my eye bump is really that, take care of yourselves if you start to have high blood pressure or you get diabetes or something some kind of thing where your veins are getting messed up eat better and exercise okay because it's not about losing weight it's more or less maintenance because you don't want to have bumps in your eye you know how hard it is to put on makeup when you have a bump right there i don't know if you can see that see that so makeup doesn't go on it very well watch See that? So, um, trying to disguise that. I'm not a makeup artist, so trying to disguise a bump is very different. So, I thought this was going to be darker, but it actually came out really nice. So, the next color I'm going to use is this. It is called Sparkle. And it looks like a pinkish color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and put it on this, uh, on the white uh, shimmery stuff I already put on there and I'm going to put some in here in this corner let's use my other brush my other brush is actually better for this kind of thing and I, the reason why I'm doing this I've noticed a lot of women do this and it really looks cool I'm not doing it to highlight or anything I'm just doing it because it looks cool and uh that that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> Do you guys remember that song? I think Garth Brooks sang it and it was about the uh the guy comes home or his wife comes home and he's turned the house into a bar because she doesn't want him to go out drinking anymore and he says the line that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Was that Garth Brooks? Maybe I'm getting uh songs mixed up, but anyway, it was a funny song. That was like 80s or 90s, that song. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back um, and I'm going to use this pecan right here. This color is pecan. I should swatch it on here so you can kind of see. That's pecan. And I'm going to use that right here. Ooh, that's a nice color. The reason why I like this palette is because it's not a bunch of dark colors. I don't like that because on my skin, like my eyes and stuff, they're wrinkly. And when you put dark powder on wrinkly skin, it sinks in and it looks crazy. It looks like you're, you've got, I, I don't know, wrinkly, dirty lines or something. I don't know. It's uh, quite a mess. Okay, so we did that. And, I, you know, I'm going to layer it because it's, it's not it's not too super bright um i can't wait maybe they'll send me like purples and stuff on my next box that would be great 
I like just funky colors. So I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to put it, it's very sparkly. So I'm going to add it right there. This one, it's called carob and carob is like, I don't know if you've ever had eaten carob. It's like a chocolatey thing. Um, and you find it in a lot of like trail mix and things like that. And it's really tasty. So now I have an eyeshadow on called Carob. So does that mean my eyes are going to be tasty? We are going to find out. We are definitely going to find out. So I'm just going to apply a little bit more. Maybe I can color that bump over a little bit. Okay, so let's use this um, Carob here. And we're going to go up here and we're going to put it up on the top here. The reason why I'm putting this up here is because I like the sparkle. And I know I'm older and sparkle is for younger people. They say be age appropriate, but I say why? Uh, only in your clothing should you be age appropriate. And that means when you get older, you should put all your girls away and all your parts. Uh, even if you're going to a club because you're single, please put it away. No one wants to see that. Even when you're young, just don't. <laughs> don't judge me for judging okay <laughs> all right so I'm gonna put some underneath so it's sparkly underneath here I really like that hopefully I don't look like um too uh garish because that wouldn't be good and this white powder they put on underneath uh um the Elf, I think it's Elf. I'm not a big fan of. Is it Elf? No, it's Wet and Wild. I'm not a big fan of it because it does look creasy. But I have to. I until I get a good concealer, I have to do something because it looks like I have two black eyes, and no one wants to look like they have two black eyes. Okay, so I'm going to take my bronzer, which would be Dawn. That's the color on here. I'll show you what Dawn looks like. That's, let's see. That's what Dawn looks like, right? I'm not a very good swatcher, but it's not too uh, standout-ish. So I'm going to put this on here. And again, I'm not an expert, so if you're gonna try anything I do, just realize I, I, I'm, I'm guessing you probably know more than I do, so. We're going to do that, and then I'm going to take the, some of the shine out of my nose. When you have a ginormous nose, you don't want to show that to the world. Okay, so we're going to take this uh, as Azela, Azela. I'm not sure how to say that, and that's, let's see if I can get it good. That's this color right here. We're going to take that and put it on our cheeks. Ooh, that's kind of bright. I like it. And I have real chub cheeks, so I like that. Uh, and we'll blend that in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here. Where's my other little brush? That's a thing when you don't see well. Okay, I'm going to take some of this chicory, and I'm going to go in here. Oh, not a lot because it's very strong. Kind of blend it in. Sort of shadow in my my cheeks because when I was taught to do makeup we were taught to put the the natural color on our cheeks and then in this part here where it's defined to put in a darker shade so that makes your cheeks stand out now I don't know if you guys still do that but that's what I'm doing and if it looks like I have a black line I apologize remember not an expert <laughs> all right so the next video I'll use all the other colors and then now I'm going to use my powder. What did I do with my powder? Oh, so the powder again is e.l.f. And I'm going to do the old tap. The tap, tap, tap. You remember the tap, tap? And this brush is amazing. Um, this brush here. And what I do is I always do this so I'm not wasting powder all over my clothes and stuff. And I like this powder because it sticks to the brush really well. 
but all the excess comes out. I'm making a huge mess. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here and you can spray your brush and make it wet, make stuff kind of stick in. I do not have a finishing spray, so we're gonna make do with what we have. Um, and I didn't do like a real like crazy look. Uh, I could have, so maybe next one I'll get brave and do that. So that's it. And uh, I sort of did my hair already, although now it's kind of messed up because I had it up. Um, yeah, definitely messed up, but that's all right. So that is the finished look. Uh, the one thing I want to say is when you're wearing glasses, always do things a little darker, even though I didn't, so that people can see it a little better. And uh, you guys uh, have a good day. Live your best life. And I'll see you on the next one.